What's happening, everybody? It's Jeff Lightsey Jr. with the Ball Sports Network. Thank you guys for the continued support. Continue to hit the like, share, subscribe, thumbs up, all that good stuff. Now, it looks like Kawhi Leonard is just on a mission in these playoffs. The Clippers win in blowout fashion, 120 to 97 over the Denver Nuggets. And Kawhi Leonard had under 29 points in 32 minutes. He would have had six straight 30 point games, but they took him out because it was a blowout. They won by 23 points. They were up by 30 at one point. He didn't play the whole fourth quarter. This. I will say, for the first time, watch it. Now, I'm not surprised that they blew out the Nuggets. The Nuggets just had to come back from down 1-3 to three to the Utah Jazz and basically essentially had three game sevens. So they were tired as hell playing uh, the Clippers who had finished off the Mavericks and who were just waiting for them to come slaughter them, which they did. Uh, but the play of Kawhi Leonard, here's the, the interesting thing, because – with for the Nuggets, for them to beat Utah, Jamal Murray had to go 50 42 50 in three straight games to, to win that series. And now, in this series against the Clippers, he's not getting any free shots. I think he shot five for 15 from last night. He shot five for 15, he had 12 points. Yeah, he shot less than five for 15. Yeah, yeah, five for 15, 12 points because they can throw Kawhi who guarded him most of the time, who really made it, things difficult for him. Marcus Morris, who ain't the best defender, but is a body. Paul George and Patrick Beverly all being played on Jamal Murray. So many different bodies. That's why Denver doesn't really have a chance in this series. I think the Clippers will win this in five easily, no longer than six. But it, but we're, we're skipping past Denver. We're going to look, because the Lakers are going to have a hell of a series with the Rockets. I don't care what nobody says. The way the Rockets can shoot threes, I don't care how difficult they just had of a series with the uh, the OKC Thunder. I think the Rockets are going to push the Lakers to six games. They, have, they can shoot threes like hell, and they got James Harden. That, to me, is enough to push anybody to at least six games. So the Lakers are going to struggle with the Rockets. The Clippers are going to run through Denver, because Denver, most of their points... Michael Porter Jr. is still a baby. He still ain't what they need him to be. Jokic is okay, but their main source of offense is Jamal Murray. And they have three guys that are going to throw at Jamal Murray that's going to give him trouble. Three guys with length. Jamal Murray's only about 6'3", maybe 6'4". Kawhi Leonard is at 6'7". Paul George is at 6'8", 6 6'9". 6 and then Marcus Morris is at 6'8". And then a little scrappy, in-your-face Patrick Beverly that's going to be in-your-face. So... That that's what's gonna that's what's and for the first time I'm gonna sit here and say that the Clippers look like the favorite because the Lakers are gonna struggle with Houston. I think the Lakers taking uh, struggling with Houston, the Clippers being able to run through the Nuggets is going to be key. And then what's also key on top of that is the Kawhi Leonard is is just being so great in these playoffs. Is you can't deny it now. I mean the man can get any shot at any moment, at any point of the game. Now, I know in 2020, we love triple doubles. Triple doubles have become a thing that we just fall in love with. We love when our guys get a bunch of assists and a bunch of meaningless rebounds or whatever. Like, we love that. But at the end of the day, the purpose of basketball is to get buckets. The team with the highest score wins. And most of the time, you want the guy that can get the most buckets. And right now, the guy getting the most buckets is number two for the Los Angeles Clippers. He looks unguardable. He, look, I mean, he his mid range game and the thing is he's doing it from the mid range, the post, the block area. His mid range game is like there's nothing anybody can do about it. It's literally unguardable. Kawhi Leonard, I don't know if there's anyone right now in basketball that can stop him. I'm hoping that LeBron James can stop him because LeBron's my guy and the Lakers are my team. But right now, this man looks scary. Scary good how <laughs> how good he looks. Uh, you let me know. Does Kawhi Leonard look unguardable? Do the Clippers look like the team to beat in the Western Conference? Not only in the Western Conference, but to win the championship. Once again, my name is Jeff Lighty Jr. with the Ball Sports Network. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time.